In augmented reality, plane detection is used for scene recreation of flat surfaces, such as tables, the ground or walls. These planes can then be used to place objects, cast shadows or even see navigation. To set up plane detection and place objects, make sure to have your Unity 6 AR Foundation scene set up or simply watch part 1 of this tutorial series. Then let's navigate to the XR Origin and add an AR Plane Manager. Here we can select different plane types to track. We could choose only horizontal or vertical and planes that are neither perfectly aligned with one or the other. But for now we can leave it at everything. Next up let's go into a hierarchy and either click on that plus or do a right click and create a new AR default plane. We then want to drag this in our project view to make it a prefab and can then delete it from our scene. Let's then drag the AR default plane into our AR plane manager and also add an AR Raycast manager to our XR origin. Next we'll create a prefab that we can instantiate with our AR Raycast manager. For that let's first of all create an empty game object and call it the prefab parent. Let's make sure that all of the transform values except the scale are set to zero. With the parent selected, then do another right click and create a cube. Let's reduce the size to 0.3 and move up the position. Zoom in with Ctrl or Command F and move up the cube by 0.15. It is now nicely lying on the surface. Let's next up save the object as a prefab and delete it from the scene. Create a new folder called prefabs and drag in our objects. Select the XR origin and in the inspector let's lock the view at the top right corner and not forget to unlock it later on and drag on the prefab that we want to place. Now if we select our game view and hit play we can see that the plane detection is working. Let's create another folder, name it scripts and inside that folder create a new mono behavior script. We can call this one AR place cube and open it in our IDE. I'm using Rider here. Then in our script let's begin by getting rid of this start method and let's create a new variable which is going to be a serialized field and we are going to make this of type AR Raycast Manager and also want to call this one uh, for example Raycast Manager. Next up let's create a, another variable which will be a boolean and we are going to call this one is placing and set it to false. So then in our update method let's first of all check if our, our, uh, our Raycast manager has been assigned and if we forgot to assign it let's return. Next up let's check if we actually have some input so we could say if input and then the touch count is greater than zero so if some kind of touch is happening we want to get the touch at index zero and we want to check whether the face is equal to touch begin or we can also check whether we get actually the mouse button down of index zero and of course we also want to check whether we are not currently already placing and then also of course set the bracket here. So then next up let's set the is placing to true and then if the input dot touch count if is greater than zero we know that we do have a touch otherwise it's a mouse click and let's quickly create this new method here which we then gonna call place object which takes a vector two as the touch position and we want to call that once with the touch of index zero position if we do have a touch and if we have a mouse click we want to simply take the current mouse position. So then in the place object method what we want to do is create a new variable that we're going to call array hits which is going to be a new list of AR Raycast hits and we'll still need to uh, import the list so the library that holds uh, the lists. This usually happens automatically here at the top and then next up what we want to do is actually go into the Raycast manager and do a Raycast and we're going to do that from our touch position. We want to put in our empty list with the Raycast hits and we want to set the trackable types to all types. And if the Raycast hits count is greater than zero, so if we actually hit something we tap on the screen and our laser beam that we send off hits an um, AR plane, we want to save the hit position as well as the hit rotation and then we want to instantiate our game object at this specific position and rotation of the hit point.
And after that, the only thing we need to do is set the is placing to false. We're going to use a coroutine to do that, which we're going to call set is placing to false with delay. And the great thing about coroutines, by the way, we also need to import those within a library here is that we can simply um, add a delay, for example, of 0.25 seconds and then set is placing to false. Of course, we need to start it with the start coroutine call here. And yeah, that's it, I think. And now if we go back into our scene, we need to attach the AR place cube script to our XR origin. Then we want to drag in the Raycast manager. And now if we hit the play button and start the scene, we can see that we are able to place cubes. For every tab, we only place one cube and not multiples. If you want to level up your plane detection and use it as a shadow receiver, there is this Unity asset that's called Shadow Receiver UAP. It's a paid asset and sadly the free version does not work with Unity 6. You can actually buy it in the Unity asset store, there's a link in the video description and simply uh, go into your AR default plane and set the shadow receiver as one of the materials in the mesh renderer. And then if you hit play, you can see that the shadows appear on the plane, but there's still these black borders here, and we can get rid of those by simply dragging here in the line renderer, the line to zero, zero. And now we can see that the planes are only casting shadows and we're good to go with placing our objects.